What up, what up, what up? This your boy, Coach. Yeah. Bro, the investment profit. Man, I'm talking about these 401ks. Now, first of all, people who ain't got no money, they shouldn't even be commenting on it because you ain't got checking. You ain't got no savings. You damn sure ain't got no 401. You just talking. And then you got those that try to down great uh, information I put out there when they got the same opportunity to put out the information even better but they don't they just like to wait to somebody else do it and then they want to Johnny come lately but anyway my advice to you would not to be investing in a 401k it's really just a scam. It's not. It's never really was set up for retirement. And the company, when they invest in your four hundred one, if 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 your portfolio goes left field, they can write off up to sixty eight thousand dollars. So the company doesn't have no risk involved. You're basically helping the company making money. Now look at this. You just have to do the math. As somebody told me, when you put it in money perspective, to understand it, it's clear. But that's another subject. I get back to that one times one shit. So, you put your money in a 401, it typically returns 3% to 8%. Which, really, if you go to a credit union, you can get max checking for about three to three and a half percent interest just on max checking. You can get a six month CD for five percent. So why would you put your money in a 401k and lock your money up? Then you look at it like this. If you only getting three to eight percent on your 401k but the early penalty withdrawal is 10 percent so your penalty is more than what you're getting paid the interest so say you're getting three percent interest and the government charges you 10 percent so it's damn near like a 17 percent swing that doesn't make any sense. And they want you to keep that money in there till you 59 and a half. And they want you to put in 15% of your income. So the average income in Michigan is about 49,000. Just say 50 for simple math. You put in 15% a year, that's $7,500. So you putting in seventy five hundred dollars and you getting three percent back. That's if you don't touch it at all. And you can do that with max checking, and you can make that money work as how you want to work it. And there's no early penalty withdrawal. A CD, if you get a six month CD, you have to keep it in that six months. Or if you get a year CD. A year CD pays 5.5%. So if you're going to lock your money up, you might as well get the 5.5% guaranteed. You ain't got to worry about market rate or nothing. And then at the end of the 12, you can just go get your money and your interest you made. Or you can roll the entire thing over. Or you can just take the interest off and just roll it over for another year. But you can't add to the CD. You have the CDs is separate. Whatever amount you put in there, that's it. If you want to add more, you have to get a whole new CD. So dish them 401ks, man. Don't let them companies lock your money up for 15 till you 59 years old. We don't live in those times and those conditions. And how they going to charge you 10% to come and get your money out of there? That doesn't make any sense. The only ones making money off of 401s is the company. 
and then when it's, the portfolio goes into the red, the company gets to write it off and you left holding the bag. This your boy, Cool the Brown, the Financial Profit.